Let me know if I'm not showing the right thing. Okay, so we're gonna use one spreadsheet with multiple Google Forms. Here is the link to the Google Slides. I'm just gonna put them in the chat again, just in case. They have the hiccups. Okay, now what you are gonna do is you're gonna create a new spreadsheet and you're gonna name it All My Quizzes. Cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use one spreadsheet for the entire week, grading period, semester, year, I don't care. Like, what if all your Google Forms went into the same one spreadsheet and you were never chasing them down? You can do that. So you're going to sheets.new. Oh, you need access, sorry. There you go, now you have access. Oh, refresh. So you're going to go to sheets.new and you're going to create a new spreadsheet. And you're going to say, this is my like master, spread, like Lord of the Rings, one ring to rule them all. We're going to have one spreadsheet to rule all my Google Forms. It's going to be amazing. So we're going to do sheets.new. All oh, my quizzes. You can name it whatever you want, by the way. I'm just making a suggestion. So what we're going to do is we are going to put, get we're going to make a bunch of Google Forms, and they're all going to go in here. So your next step is I want you to make at least three Google Forms. Make three Google Forms. Make three Google Forms. The other thing you could do is you could just go to forms.google.com and open up three forms you already have. Ah. So take your pick. I'm going to go to forms.google.com and I have this untitled form. I'm going to open up that. I'm going to go to forms.google.com I'm going to do this one. I got a bunch of junky ones because I use them for demo all the time when I do these webinars. So I'm just going to check in, exit ticket, I don't know, whatever. Okay, so I have three Google Forms. Yeah, I'm going to wait. So you're going to either make three Google Forms, or you have three tabs with three Google Forms, or just go to forms.google.com and open up three Google Forms you already have. That's your job. Okay, give me an okay in the chat so I know when I can move on. For each of your forms, just have one question. It doesn't need to be crazy. I just want you to have three forms open. Okay, so the next thing, once you've got your three forms, is we're going to go to the Responses tab and look for that spreadsheet icon. If you already have a spreadsheet, 
we're going to go to the three dots icon. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to the Responses tab. And when I click on Spreadsheet, it says Select a Response Destination. So I'm going to select an existing spreadsheet. Select. And of course, I'm going to choose all my quizzes. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the Responses tab. I'm going to click on View Responses in Sheets. Oh, that see, that already has a spreadsheet. That one already had one. So if it already has a spreadsheet, you got to do the three dots and unlink the form, which really more accurately would be unlink the spreadsheet. So I'm going to unlink the form, unlink. And now I can click on the spreadsheet icon and select an existing spreadsheet. Select and go to the all my quizzes. Then I'm going to go to my third form and I'm going to click on the responses tab. I'm going to the three dots. Okay, just was checking. Do you notice when I went to the three dots, the unlinked form is grayed out because I don't have a spreadsheet already. Fine. Now I'm going to create spreadsheet and select an existing spreadsheet. and all my quizzes. Now on this all my quizzes, you should see three tabs at the bottom for each form. So let me know when you have successfully gotten all three spreadsheets to link into this, or three forms to link into the same spreadsheet. So whatever the form is, you go to the responses tab, three dots to unlink if you need to, and then you click on the spreadsheet icon and choose the same spreadsheet. Now here's a tip. Before you try to do this, open your spreadsheet and make any edit so that it's recent. So when you go to link it, you don't have to search for it. It becomes the first thing up there as recent spreadsheets. I do that with, with folders also when I know I'm going to have to go in like on, um, you know where you're pushing and pulling slides and you have to choose the folder that the slides are in. I go make some sort of an edit, like I change the title and then I just change it right back so that it's the most recent edit. So it's the first folder in the picker. You cannot make the same form to go to different tabs-ish. Great question. So what I'm gonna do is I have this form, and let's say now I no longer, like this is Monday. Actually it's Sunday, but whatever. I'm now gonna unlink the form. Now unlinking is not deleting. So I'm gonna actually, once I unlink, I do want to delete all the responses from the spreadsheet, Mindy. So Mindy wants, to use the same form every day, but to always go in a different tab, right? So I'm going to delete Monday's responses because now for Tuesday, I'm going to click the spreadsheet icon. I'm going to select an existing spreadsheet, and it's going to be all my quizzes. Now, in that case, Mindy, I probably would just have one spreadsheet for that one form that you just keep doing that. So you unlink and then assign it right back to the exact same spreadsheet and you unlink and assign it right back to the same spreadsheet and just do that every day. And then you would have every day's results in the same uh, spreadsheet, right? Uh, don't forget to delete responses. So every day you unlink, you delete responses, and you relink. And it, yes, you see now it's, it says form responses for. Once you unlink, it's like getting a divorce. You can't get remarried, right? You, no one dies. They just go their separate ways, and the spreadsheet has its data, and the form has its data. When I delete the responses out of the form, it doesn't hurt the spreadsheet. Like, they've gone separate ways. So when you're like, hey, I'm relinking it back to the same spreadsheet, well, that tab's got a divorce. So now it makes a new tab because it's a new marriage. Now, that being said, Mindy, you should use two tabs, the two tabs add-on. So what you want to do is just ask a question every day that's a unique identifier so that it can sort it by that identifier. And then two tabs will create a tab per unique value. 
a little less work. Okay. All right, so now you're looking at the spreadsheet. You see that you have a bunch of tabs on the bottom and they all say form response is one, form response is two, form response is three, right? That, that, that's not really helpful. So I'm like, okay, well, what, what is form response is one? So now what you should notice is up at the top, oh, all right, because I divorced it. Do you see it no longer has a form icon? On the tab, the form response is one. There's no form icon because it got a divorce. And I redid it, and that's now form response is four. Uh -huh. So I'm form response is two. It has the form icon to let you know that this tab is linked to a form. And when I'm on that tab that is linked to a form, and I'm looking at this spreadsheet, and then you can see that it has a form menu. When I'm on this other tab where the form and the spreadsheet got a divorce, there is no form menu. So the tab with a form icon has a form menu where you can edit that form. You can send that form. You can go to that live form. So I'm going to go to the live form. Okay, this is the ice cream worksheet. So I'm going to double click on the tab and I'm going to call it ice cream worksheet. You should rename the tabs. So double click on the tab and say which what it goes to, but if you're like me, you're like, uh, I forgot. So while I'm on the tab, I go to the form menu, and I go to the live form. Okay, this one is untitled. Double click on the tab to name it, so that I know which one is which. So what you're doing right now is you're renaming all the tabs to the name of the form that it's connected to so you know what the heck it is. So you double click on the tab and if you need to, you go to the form menu. And what's nice, oh, I don't have any responses in it. Oh, is I can do the summary of responses, I just don't have any responses. So you see, it takes me back to the Google form and it takes me to the responses tab. When you do form show summary of responses. But when you're on the tab, the form menu is specific to that tab's form. So this actually, this form menu changes as I click on these three tabs, it changes. Cool. Okay, I knew this would not take an hour. I thought I could stretch it out to half an hour, but I guess not, which is fine. What questions can I answer for you? Hi, Alice. Can you give some um, examples of how you use it? I mean, I have some things brewing. But... Oh, yeah. well, it's, just, it's just my, you know, your Google Drive's a hot mess. We all know it. <laughs> how many Google Forms are you using? And then how many spreadsheets you got to be checking? So in a typical week, how many Google Forms something do you use? So if, if even just for the week, you have all the ones from this week linking to the same spreadsheet, so when you sit down to grade, you open one spreadsheet and you got all the work for the week. So now I would, if I said this is all my quizzes, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do all my, all my quizzes. But for unit one, all my unit one quizzes, all my first quarter, qu you know, Google Forms, like when you, create a, when you create a spreadsheet with a form, why not be more thoughtful about it? Like, well, here's a spreadsheet I already use. You wanna know what spreadsheet you should use? And the last webinar I just did was my reuse GC, alicekeeler.com slash reuse GC, which is a spreadsheet that manipulates all of your Google Classroom. So if that's my hub for Google Classroom, why wouldn't I just have all my Google Forms go into that spreadsheet? Because I use that spreadsheet every day anyway. Just a thought. Or maybe you have a spreadsheet that you use with, I mean, the best thing ever is checkboxes, right? You use the insert menu, you choose checkbox, you got your roster of students, and then you're checking off who participated, who did this. 
Like, and you're using this spreadsheet. Well, if you're using that spreadsheet, why not have your Google Forms go to that spreadsheet? Ask yourself, how could you save yourself time not digging through Google Drive? Um, when Mindy, when you say quizzes, you mean the quiz, not Q U I, not I Z, but E S, the quiz features in Google Forms, right? No, I was thinking, I was wondering if Q U I Z Z I Z so, fed into it. I mean, it's just, it, that's what I thought. Actually, I use, I don't use it for assessment. I use it for I use it for a lot of things. I do personally. Google Forms, I use quizzes, and the quizzes imports their scores in the classroom and gets the scores for that. I'm just talking about all the Google Forms. So if you go to forms.google.com, you're going to see all your Google Forms that you use. It's going to be ranked by how recently they've been edited. So all those ones at the top that you've used recently, wouldn't you like to go check them in one spot? If you would, and some of them you wouldn't. For some of them, for sure, the answer is no. I want it to be in its own spreadsheet that I've shared with other people, and they shouldn't see this stuff. But for some of them, you're like, man, my life would be easier if I could see everything in the same place. Especially if you're doing a more competency-based model where students submit stuff at all kinds of weird and random times. You're like, well, how do I know students turned anything in? Well, if I had all the assignments, so for the assignment, they submit something into a Google form, then I've got all the tabs on the spreadsheet that I can check the tabs to see if anyone submitted anything without checking them all, for example. Alice, okay. can you turn in notifications uh, alerts on a spreadsheet if it's um will it pick up any tab or do you have to do it for each tab i think so i i i don't know because if i had a spreadsheet that had a bunch of forms in it it has not occurred to me to want to have it notify me so i haven't tried it I have but it i feel pretty confident that the tools menu notification rules is on the entire spreadsheet because it's not on the form tab the form the form menu is specific to the form for that tab but the tools menu is the entire thing so i i feel 90 percent confident that if any edits are made to the spreadsheet like any of those are submitted you'd get the notification rule so you go tools notification rules and it sends you an email if anyone's edited the spreadsheet Which you can also see why is great for competency-based models, right? Yes, if you link the wrong form, you just go to the form menu and it says unlink. And then you go back to the form and then you say where it want, you want it to go. You bet. I think it's really cool. It's definitely something I use. I send more than the multiple forms to the same spreadsheet. I know that we would like multiple forms to maybe go to the same tab. That's not possible for a variety of reasons. All right, you guys. Have a good night. I'm going to stop the recording and answer Mindy's question on Pear Deck. Any questions about same spreadsheet, multiple forms. Okay, I'm going to stop the recording.